In this video, I am going to show you how to integrate jQuery data table into a Laravel project. This is a normal table in Laravel without any styles or behavior. We are going to transform it into an interactive table like this. On the top left, we can choose the number of rows we want to display. It also has pagination links at bottom right. At the top right, we can filter rows as well. We can also sort the table in ascending or descending order of any column we want. Let's see how we can achieve this. Here we have the plain table without any styles or interactivity. Let's quickly look at the code for this table. We have a product model here, with guarded properties set to an empty array for mass assignments. The product migration file here shows all the column name with their types. We also have a product controller with an index method that returns the default welcome view. We fetch all the products from the database and pass it to the welcome view. Let's look at the root file next. The root slash is being handled by the index method of the product controller. So when we visit the site, it will return the welcome page via product controller. Let's look at the welcome view now. It has a plain HTML table with some headers. We are iterating over all the products and displaying them as table data here. Head over to datatables.net. We need to copy the CSS and the JS file CDN and paste them in our welcome view. After that we need to call the datatable function as shown here. Copy the CSS CDN and paste them to the href attribute of a new link tag in the head section of our welcome view. Copy the JSCDN and paste them to the SRC attribute of a new link script just before the closing body tag in our welcome view. Let's check if our data table is working or not. It's not working yet. Let's look at the console window to see if there are any errors. As you can see, it says jQuery is not defined. We need jQuery for this data table to work. Let's include the jQuery CDN next. We will use the jQuery version 3. Click on Minified, then, copy the script tag and paste them to the welcome view before the data table CDN. Let's see if the data table works now. It is not working, but at least we got rid of the error. Before the final step, let's quickly add Bootstrap CSS CDN to our welcome view. Copy the CSS link and paste it into the head section of welcome view. The last step is to call the data table function when the page loads. Here, my table is the ID of HTML table. So let's give the table ID of my table. It is not the case that the ID must always be my table, it can be anything. Just make sure the ID is same in table tag and in the script. Let's check if the data table works now. 
Great, we have successfully integrated jQuery to our Laravel table. Let's quickly wrap our table in a class of container and MT5 to make the table look nice. Let's check if all the features work. Showing fixed number of rows feature is working. Pagination feature is also working. The search feature is also working. Let's see one place where you may make mistake. The order of jQuery and data table CDN must always be like this jQuery first then only data table. Let's switch the order and see what happens. The data table does not work and we can see errors in the console. The console says jQuery is not defined even if we have included it. So, if you are getting these errors, it is because the jQuery is after data table. Let's fix the order and check again. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more such videos, please consider subscribing. See you in the next one.